associated with the quantity. Um, so I haven't really talked about this, but we need to start talking about it now. So suppose we have one quantity x, and it has dimensions associated with it. We have another quantity y that has other dimensions with it. We know how to multiply x times y. If needed, we could go to a multiplication table. But what are the units of x times y? Well, it turns out that we just carry out the parallel operations with units. So if we have dimensions, or units for that matter, associated with x, and we have dimensions, or units associated with y, we just perform the comparable operations on them. So if we're multiplying x times y, we multiply the dimensions. So we, if we have a stock measured in cost, or in persons, and we have a chance per unit time, a likelihood per unit time of developing diabetes. What is the unit of the likelihood per unit time? So suppose we have a stock that is unit person. Maybe a stock is number of normal glycemic people, people without diabetes. And suppose, so we have the stock and we're going to have an alpha times the stock. And the stock is of unit, is of, of dimension person. And suppose an alpha is a hazard, it's a chance per unit time, a likelihood per unit time, a likelihood per, maybe per month or per year. What is the unit of, what is the dimension of that? Likelihood per unit time. What's the dimension associated with likelihood, folks? I said it earlier. It's one of the special ones. A very special one. What's the unit associated with the likelihood? We can think of a unit of likelihood as a fraction of times that something happens. We roll a dice. So what's the unit of it? A fraction. What's the unit? Or sorry, the dimension associated with it? It's zero. Yeah, it's dimensionless. It's dimensionless. And we might write that as one, but here it's likelihood per unit time. So it's one over time, okay? One over, t I'll write this, sure, one over time, okay? This is a one over time. So it's dimensionless over time. And if we multiply now alpha times x, what is the unit of the multiplication of the quantity that results from that multiplication? We have alpha times x in our model. What's the dimension associated with that? If we have these two things, this dimension of these, what's the dimension associated with alpha times x? Hmm? Person per time. Person times one. Just give person the one is the units of uh, the, the sort of uh, dimensionless quantity. So it's person per time. If I had the eraser here, I'd make these nice capitalized in the appropriate way. It's just person per time. So if we multiply quantities, all we do is multiply the appropriate dimensions. And if we're dealing with powers, we just we have the same dimension and just different powers, we just add the powers up. So if we have dollars per foot and we multiply it by people per foot we get people times dollars, so people dollars per foot squared. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, so here we just carry out this operation, um, operation in parallel. Now, the key 